Hey, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I thought I'd talk about uh, how to create an ebook in Canva. Canva is a free, if you've never seen it before, if you've heard of it, about it maybe, it's a free online uh, graphic creation tool, I guess is what you would call it. Uh, what I discovered it in its early days and I could see the potential in it. And I've been using it for quite a while. I create graphics for my copywriting clients, for myself, and it's really a great tool. It's free. They have a pro version, which has got a lot of nice features, like you can add up, let's see, you can do, uh, upload your own fonts, different fonts, but they do have a pretty good selection of fonts that are free, so. Uh, it's a pretty good tool, especially when you're first starting out, it's free. <laughs> and when you don't have the funds to put for, uh, or set aside and use for uh, creating your ebooks, then it's a good place to start anyway. So I'm going to show you on the computer here in a little bit. We're going to go and take a look and see how to create a image, a graphic for your ebook. It's a little more involved for the print. But we're just today we're going to go over the uh, ebooks. Very simple. They have a template that you can follow. But it's one thing to have a template if you don't know what your genre normally looks like. The best thing to do would be to go on like Amazon and see which covers strike you as interesting, which ones stand out to you, which ones are among the best sellers. Because there's certain trends that graphic artists know who create the books, uh, the book covers. They know uh, the kind of font, the placement. First one thing or another, there's a bunch of stuff to think about. So come with me and we'll take a, a trip through Canva, go over the features, and go over how you can use it in your writing business. Okay, guys. Today, as I don't remember if I promised you this or not, but today I thought I'd show you guys how to do um, an ebook cover in Canva. So, this book we're going to be working with is one that I wrote a while back. It's called The Rock. And this is the existing ebook cover. Okay. Uh, it's kind of a redemption story set in a small town, as a lot of my stories are. And so, um, yeah, I need to really, it's, it's one of those, the story is one of those cross genre stories because it's like, like I said, a redemption story between a husband and wife, but it's also a, um, well, that's the closest thing I can call it. So what I'm going to do is to get an idea of a better cover, one that is, that just screams genre, which is not going to be that easy because, <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my stories always tend to skip through different genres. But anyway, so one way to do this, <clears throat> to get an idea of what would be a good book cover, Besides looking through like um, Unsplash is a good one. There's lots of free um, images and stuff you can use for book cover. But right now I need to go to Amazon and not the KDP, just the Amazon. I'm going to look for uh, books. So here, 
It's a quick way to get there. And, okay. No thanks. All right. <clears throat> Let me get a little closer here. All right. Now, the best way to do this is you can look through the genres, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, because I don't remember which genre I put this in. I'm going to look for the rock. I A C Cooper. And there it is. Okay. Yes, don't look. Not a lot of people have seen this on. <laughs> Maybe that's why. It's not really that clear. It's like, okay, right, here's the, um, the blurb I wrote. And it's really, it's not really, that's my fault. I didn't really say a whole lot about the story. Not on here, but when you click through on the page, it gives you, well, it gives you a sample. Okay, I really need to work on this. I mean, it's one of those things you grow. You're going to look for Christian suspense. So, you know, here's a tip. You've, you've got these when you start searching, it'll pull up these uh, titles that people are searching for, book genres that people are searching for. So I'm just going to do Christian Suspense. It's not really a mystery. Okay. Now you've got a female in this case. She's probably the main protagonist. She's showing here. I'll shrink you up a little bit. Too big there. Okay. Uh... Christian Suspense. Okay, so you've got that. Now, that's a sponsored, which is kind of interesting. It's just a graphic, and they're doing pretty well. I mean, 3.8 out of 5, but at least they're getting some people looking. <laughs> like my poor book. Okay, Nowhere to Run. Okay, Romantic Suspense book. Okay. So, Secrets of the Heart, Christian Suspense, Romance. So they've got this under Suspense and Romance, but it's not really a romance. Okay, so here they're using background of, uh, they're doing well. See, that's something to look at, too, if people like them and how they're doing. There's a set. There's a set. Okay. A series. Okay, yeah, my book is... My book cover is lame. So, now, see, I don't have a romance necessarily. I mean, it's a married couple. Which, not to say married people don't have romance. <laughs> That's not the focus of the story. The focus of the story is a husband and wife. Um, they're... Marriage is on the rocks. He has uh, strayed. And there's also a um, family situation where there's children that are being abused in the town. And very horrifically abused. And it's up to the husband and the wife. To, they have to work together to... Um, you know out the bad guys, so to speak. It's been a while since I read it, but that's the overall theme. Okay, well, I think I should... I don't really... That's kind of like, meh. I don't know. I mean, it seems to be they're sponsoring it, you know? I don't know. It's a story. It's not a nonfiction, but you would think you'd expect something like that in a nonfiction. Let's take a look, see. Um... 319 pages. Okay. This series. Two books in the series. Okay. Well, she seems to be doing pretty well with these. A lot of people like them. She's got a better synopsis than I do. But she's kind of got a plot here. I don't know. Anyway, that's not what I'm looking for. 
So, I think I'm going to go with a landscape. Really, because there's no one main character that the whole story focuses on. So, let's go over here to nature section and uh, unsplash and see what we got. I'm going to get rid of that. I hope it saved it. <laughs> All right. Mm. Now, what you can do if you want to tweak to see if uh, it's your book cover, or if it's your blurb, it's just, just change. <clears throat> it's just to change one thing at a time, and I may end up doing that. I may just change the blurb on it. And then, after a bit, come back and change the cover. But today, let's just do the cover. So, go to Canva.com. And what you're going to do is... Pause this recording for a minute. Okay. I'm back. Strangely enough, there's two of me. How'd that happen? <laughs> Let's just hide the one. That's just really weird. Okay, I hope it's recording, right? I never tried this for a tutorial, so we'll see. Alright, you have options. Okay, you've got... Yes, sir. I promise. I've got ebook covers, Facebook cover, card, flyer. If if you're going to do your own marketing of your book, and I suggest you do, because it's something you can learn, and when you feel confident that you know what you're doing, you'll, you know, there's no end to you being able to get your books out there. I just haven't focused on it like I should, not as much, but it, that's changing. Plus, I have more books to write. Okay, here's book cover. Okay, 1410 by 2550. Okay. Oh, well, this is nice. I've changed this since the last time I was in here. You've got inspirational, romance. Okay. Um, thriller. Creative. Photo. Notebook, vintage children's art, cookbook, illustration, architecture. Okay. Hmm. All right. Novel. So we're going to see all. See if anything. I've got this pick. They got it off at Unsplash because that's where I got it. Okay. The Art of the Surf. It's actually not a bad book cover. Think about the rot. Hmm. Anyway. Simon River. You see they've got um, the nice images and they've uh, made them a little transparent, which is good. Hmm, that's not bad. Needs something, though. I don't know. The author name needs to be a little bigger. Something needs to be different about that. But anyway, that's my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Okay. Now, that's good. Let's just do that. I have no idea what image I'm going to use, but for now, let's see what we've got. Okay, now I can get rid of that. Oops, I don't want to do that. Not yet, because you can't see the... Now, with uh, Canva, over here on the left-hand side, you've got the templates, which is what we just did. And you can, you've got photos that you can choose from. They have a lot of free ones, but they also have some that have, like, pro that you pay money for. So, but... Now, I don't, I've been having, um, I've been using Canva for a while, so I don't know if I was grandfathered in or something, but 
I think you can go ahead and upload your own images as far as I know. Let me check real quick for you. Canva Pro versus free. Let's see what they've got. Okay. Cam at a glance. Oh, maybe this will show. Now, the one thing I wish I I could do, because I'm not paying for a full one now. Not at this point. There's no profitable reason for me to yet. But, okay. Free forever, you've got photos, graphic elements, videos, and storage. It's one gigabyte. That's not bad. Curated photos. Okay. Pro features. Templates. Photos. Okay. That's pro. Pro. Templates pro. Fonts pro. That's one thing I wish I did have the ability is to change the fonts, but I can go into GIMP, which is a free open source software that works on, I believe everything it works on Linux, which is what I'm on. And I, I do believe it also works on Windows and probably Mac. Okay, I don't really know that much about Mac. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. Well, as far as I can tell, I think you can still upload. I know I can, so free plan. Okay, two folders, storage, templates, photos, invite your team, custom templates, download quality, unlimited folders. Well, it doesn't say anything about being able to or not so I'm gonna assume that you can you can upload your images because I've done that a bunch of them a bunch of them for clients so uh, anyway that's uh, if you don't like any of the photos they have and they have quite a few free photos you, they've got them broken down by category family business nature so let's go with nature I've got a lot of nice free ones too, so well, this gonna work. We'll start with this. And what you do is just very click, just simple drag and drop. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna get rid of this one. You see the blue highlights around the image, you can get rid of it, which is what I'm gonna do. And I waited until I had an image because I didn't want to get this white text lost. <laughs> So you just size it however you want. Now, if you can't size it this way, like I said, you can go into GIMP and do it. So. And there. Okay. Nice central. You get the lines. It'll help you. Now, if you want to have it centered all the way, you should have like a cross in the middle. Beep. Right. Uh, well. It has anyway. Oh, well, anyway. There's that image. We'll just put that in the middle like that. That's good. And up here, I'm just going to change the text. I'm going to keep the font for right now. And then just type over. Oops. AC. AC. Oh, they've got, I'll show you what they've done here. Cooper. Okay. What they've done is if you look on here, your text you go up here and you have the options alignment is center if I push it it's gonna move it to the left to the center and to the right so it's just a toggle and then why am I there I don't know okay Sorry about that. Uh, if you take a look up here, you'll see you have the option of spacing. And you can do letter and line height. And then you can also, within the text box itself, you can make it go to the bottom, the top, or the middle. Okay. And in this, 
um, the letter, they put it like 790, which I'm fine with that. It's not a problem. Now what they did here also, it gives you the option. Hmm. To ungroup. What they did was when they created this, they grouped it that way. The name is always in the box wherever you want to put it. And then you can decide where you want to move your um, name to. So you can move it around. So I'm just going to go back to, to where it was. Okay. And you can change the color of the box if you want to. I'm going to leave it be for right now. And then your fonts. They have quite a few fonts here. Oh, I get over there. Why do I have all these open? That's just really weird. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. You have all these different fonts you can choose from. When you see this little um, crown thing here, then you'll know that that's a pro option. But they do have quite a few. And like I said, the one thing would be nice would be able to upload your own fonts, but you can't really. But if there's a font that you really, really want to use, you when you download it, you can download it as a uh, print, JPEG, PNG, and I would recommend probably a PNG would be the best, I think, to work with. And to like GIMP or any your favorite photo software that you like to use. And so anyway, there's that and then that, the font and that. And then the image itself, you can add filters to it to change the look. It's like epic, festive, and you can look, see right here and the change that it gives you. It's really pretty cool. And you can also adjust the intensity. If you like the look, but you want it to be a little brighter or darker, it's like, right? That kind of thing. The blues, edge, the grayscale, street. That's a pretty good one. I kind of like that. And the intensity, make it a little more intense. See what happens. Oh, that's not work. A little less intense adds in the blues. Okay, that's good. I like that. For now. Thus <laughs> I changed my mind. And up here you can do the transparency. Okay. Oh, I don't want any transparency on this case. Okay, I gotta change the name. Because obviously that's not the title of my book. The rot. Okay. That I don't need, so you just hit delete or you can hit the, the trash can up here. Okay, and then you can adjust it, change the font. I'm going to change the font to something else. I'm going to change it to what? I don't know. Let's see. It's something that's really bold. That's too square. No, that's kind of a 1980s type of font. At least it would. looks like to me. That's a different kind. No. Semi bold. And you can also, that's actually not bad. You can also, if you want to do like a script type, just type in script and it will pull up cursive. And it'll pull up all of these handwritten. And then can you just, and then if you want just handwriting, you can just pull this up. It's kind of different. I wouldn't like it, but it just depends on what you want, what you think works. Now, the rock. That looks like a something from a. Like the blob or something. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Yeah, we'll go back to what it was.
which I can't recall. That's okay. We'll go back to the regular fonts. Ezra Simmerbold, that's what it was. XR, rather. Eh, that'll work. And then, just like with the other up top, you can adjust to the size, up or down. You can add color. I'm going to make it a bloody red looking, or whatever. Um, let's see. It gives you, which is pretty cool, it gives you colors pulled from the photo itself, which is a nice little handy thing. Won't work in this case, but that's okay. It's pretty cool. Make it black. Ugh. Blue. Nope. Then just play around, see what you like, see what fits. That's white. So the more I look at this color, I don't really like it. So I can go back in and put none. And it puts it back to what it was originally. And you just play around until you see something that really sticks out in your mind. Actually, not a bad idea. Uh, no space up top. Okay. I need to probably add some kind of a sub tech, a subtitle for this thing. Now that I think about it. Or I can just add in that scripture that I had and then just write a better blurb. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But anyway, once you're done, let's assume we're done because this will be all day. It takes me a while to decide what I want. Um, just download. And get the best image quality you can. Now you can't adjust this unless you're pro. But actually it will be pretty good anyway. So download it. And then name it. I'm going to just throw it on my desktop. The rot revised, I should say, because I have one already called. Okay. Save. Okay. And my image viewer will open it. And we'll take a look see. And as you can see, pretty simple, pretty basic. But it's not hard, and you can just add in any text. Did I even show you that? Sorry about that. Let's go back here. To add text, you just here's your text button. You can do a, he a heading, a subheading, a little bit of body text, and they've got some nice combinations. One trick I've learned is... Um, and it doesn't mean it always has to be this way, but it's good to go with either a script and a, um, well, let's back up. Do you see these little loop -dees at the bottom and the little in the front? These are uh, serifs is what they call them. Now, something is sans serif means it doesn't have that. It's just a straight up, like these, just straight up blocks. That's it. Okay, and what they've done here is a nice combination. They've taken a handwriting script and added it with a um, sans font or sans script, sorry, uh, font. So you'll notice that's what a lot of them do, and that's kind of how it. Now, see here in this case, it's all the same font. It's all without a, the serifs. So, that's just a little thing I've picked up on the fonts. So, and then background. They get a lot of free backgrounds, and you can upload your own background, too, if you want. There's tons of stuff here. Um, music and charts I've not really messed with, but they've got that, and they've got some kind of integrations, too. If something would work with what you're doing, I don't know. I haven't tried it because you can also do videos. I'm I do my videos on a OpenShot 
software, so I don't mess with this. And as far as I can tell, these are all just little short clips. So, but there's something you could probably do with them. And then your elements. This is the different features. They've got icons and shapes. Um, featured. You've got grids, which, here, I'll throw this in. Okay. And it takes up the whole thing, or you can just adjust it, right? So let's say I adjust it. Then you can throw in, let's grab an image, a photo, right here. Uh, right here. Just doop, and it pops it right in nice and neat. I like that feature. That's pretty cool. So, and then that's under elements. You've got grids. you got all kinds of grids. you got bunches and bunches and bunches, whatever you could think of. And then the shapes, you, with the shapes, you can add colors, you know, that kind of stuff, which is cool. And stickers, they even have animated stickers, which don't seem to work, or I've never had to call for them. I don't know. See? And if you download them, I guess you would have to download them as a GIF. I can't imagine any other way they'd work. Your charts, your gradients, your lines. And collections people put together. So it's a really cool website. If you haven't had a chance, I'd suggest go over there and be prepared to spend some time playing around because it's really packed with stuff. Just packed with stuff that you can use. So, anyway, um, if you have any questions or comments about using Canva, if you hate it, hate it, love it, uh, leave me a remark in the comments below. And um, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, like, or comment. Um, share it with your friends. You want to learn how to write? I'm hoping to give you a lot more tutorials and share a lot more information with you in the coming weeks ahead. So until then, have an awesome, awesome day.